This is another example of eliminating the parameter t to rewrite the system of parametric equations that were given right here as a simplified Cartesian equation. In other words, with x's and y's only and no t in it. <clears throat> so to do this, I want to remind you of something super important. Remember this, x, not, not x squared. Remember this from trigonometry, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. Doesn't matter what theta is. Theta could be t, theta could be some crazy number, right? But if you take the sine squared of an angle plus the cosine squared of an angle, it always equals one. This is the Pythagorean identity. We're going to use this one to our advantage right now. Well, if I square both sides of this equation, I should get some sine squareds and some cosine squareds. So look what I'll produce. I'll say x squared equals, let's see, four sine squared t, and y squared equals four cosine squared t, okay? And now I can rewrite those things down here. That's x squared over four equals sine squared t, and y squared over four equals cosine squared t. Well, you add those up, you just get one. So using the Pythagorean identity, I can just say this, x squared over four plus y squared over four equals one. And if you like, you can simplify it a little bit and just say x squared plus y squared equals four. This right here, I mean, either form of this would be fine. But this right here is the equation of a circle, okay? Now, this next one's a little bit different. And if you glance at it, you should be able to see what's going on here. That's a two, this is a six. It's not going to change our method at all. We're gonna still square both sides because I wanna get rid of the sine squared and the cosine squared. So I say x squared equals four sine squared t, y squared equals 36 cosine squared t. Now, um, let's isolate the sine squared and the cosine squared. Okay, so we get x squared over four equals sine squared t. We get y squared over 36 equals cosine squared t. And we add these things up together using the Pythagorean identity again to say the following, x squared over four plus y squared over 36 equals one, okay? Now, I, I'm gonna choose to leave it in this form because when you have an ellipse, that's what this is the equation of. Do you remember your conics stuff? When you have an ellipse, we generally leave it in this, in this rational form because having these numbers right here tells us some interesting things about the graph. Whereas with the circle, we tend to like it in this form right here. But honestly, either answer is gonna be just fine. The computer's not gonna be a, a meanie about that. 